I hope you can hear me well. Uh, there is no lag, right? So just confirm if you can hear me well. Uh, am I audible? Okay, thank you. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Okay, so I'll just share my screen and start. Okay, so I hope you can see my screen. Yeah, uh, so have any of you gone through? You can just share your understanding and also you can just uh, open up your mic and speak. And you can uh, type in the chat. Just give you, we give the room for you. Uh, okay, okay, so no one has gone through the challenge document. It's better in, if if we go in that approach. So you share your understanding, and I will know how to describe each point rather than just uh, telling you what uh, it's already written. Okay, thank you, Matthias. And yeah, you are right. So you will be developing a data scraping and collection pipeline, and will push up uh, cleaning and transforming uh, using DBT, and also implementing object detection using Fiono, and also have fast API implementation added to it. So okay, I'll just uh, start. Uh, so uh, now you are uh, a data engineer at Kara Solutions, and so the idea here is for you to build your your task is to build uh, a data warehouse, which is which, uh, which is like you will collect uh, it's your biomedical business data from Telegram channels. So now you will uh, so. The main objective would be to enhance the data analysis part and also uh, to store the data centrally, which means we will have access to it from uh, anywhere. And it will be it will help us identify trends, patterns, and correlation since we have uh, collected data in one storage. And then the and the task would be to uh, develop a data scraping and collection pipeline, and also develop data cleaning and transformation pipeline. As Matthias also mentioned, object detection using YOLO and data integration and enrichment with uh, data warehouse design and implementation. So you'll go through all these five stages in, your, in this challenge. So I hope you can hear me clearly. And if you have any question, make sure to type it on the chat or raise your hand. And so uh, the learning outcomes are just web, web scraping. You will not have web scraping, but mostly telegram scraping. I'll just modify this one, telegram scraping, using what, using telegram API, and also you can use this framework too, and also you can use just telegrams on API, like Teleton, and also you can just export directly from a public channel. And the next would be object detection using YOLO, as mentioned, and uh, data cleaning and transformation using extract, transform, and load process, and database schema design for the for your data warehouse, and implementing and configuring a uh, database management system, example, Postgres, so we'll be using Postgres, and data integration and enrichment techniques, and in-twinned data pipeline development, 
testing and validation of data systems, deployment and maintenance of data warehouse. So the, these are the learning outcomes, which are the skills and the knowledge would be identifying relevant data source and principles of object detection and best practice in data cleaning, structured data for efficient storage and retrieval, which means indexing gaming uh, tables, and techniques for integration and enriching data for, from multiple resources, which is uh, multiple telegram channels for our case, and implementing robust uh, security measurement for data protection. Uh, you will have, you, it's better to implement uh, your API in the points, uh, having a security uh, layer and best practice for deploying and maintaining data warehouse solutions. So this is just a competency mapping and you'll just, you will have uh, interim submission as always on Wednesday and final submission on Saturday. So the first task would be data scraping and collection pipeline. So now you will uh, do telegram scraping. So it, you will utilize telegram API or can write your custom scripts to extract data from public telegram channels. And this channel has to be relevant to Ethiopian medical business. So you can use the following channels and you can also uh, go to TGStat and check any uh, channels that are related to the medical business in Ethiopia. So we, we try to list around five of them. So you can just uh, start there and continue to the rest of the channels that you find from TGStat. And for the image scraping, you can use the JMAP Telegram channel and also uh, Loi Bela for cosmetics. So you can use these two channels. You can export the data from there and you will have to just uh, go through each message and collect the image and later on you will use those uh, images on your object detection uh, part. So the steps are you can use Python package like Telegram for, tele for Telegram, you can use Teleton and also you can use uh, you can use uh, just exporting it from uh, exporting it from directly from Telegram so you can just uh, use that data and your pipe. You can ingest the, the, the downloaded or the exported uh, data in your pipeline and you can just write a script to actually uh, fetch the data from the, from the downloaded or exported data. And you, you will have uh, st storage, so you will initial storage will be uh, storing the raw data, which means store the, store, storing the raw script data or the exported data with temporary storage location. So you can use the local database or files before processing it further. So we are using ETL, which means you extract first, then you transform, and then load it to your database. So your, your raw data will not be stored in, in this case. So you'll also implement logging and monitoring. So you use pipe. Python's log, logger package and implement logging here. And for the data cleaning and transformation part, now you extract the data, then the next part is to transform the data, so to clean and transform. So you, you will remove duplicates, handle missing values, standardized formats, and also the, you validate some data and store the clean, the cleaned uh, in the database. So now for the transformation part, you apply DBT, which is a data build tool. So you'll go to DBT and you can install it. Uh, you can install it using the tip and in your project directory, you can uh, init. And you define models. So create DBT models for data transformation, which means uh, a square files, there are square files, so you, you transform physical data. So for example, you might uh, want to transform uh, a data object into somehow a readable format, or you can just uh, aggregate some things, and you can just uh, do a lot of things using DBT. So make sure to apply it uh, in an efficient way. So you run the dbt models to perform the transformation so which is dbt run and after that you just 
dbt test with uh, testing document your features using dbt docs generate and also dbt docs serve and also you have to uh, monitor and look most of your operations here if you it, uh, especially for the cleaning and for the storing part and now you actually lo loaded your data into your database so the next is object detection using your so the now you set up your environment by installing the uh, open tv five python these are the required versions and there are uh, lots of uh, and also i will add the other channel here from uh here you can find this you, you can also use this chain channel so after installing and downloading your your model you install all the requirements inside inside that uh, repository and after that you prepare your data so use your pre-trained model to detect objects in the image so now the next part is to pre, to pre process the detection results so after some uh, objects are detected so understand the structure of your uh, image and uh, based on that to try to store the data the detected data into your, your uh, database table so which means you know you, you might have to create another table so you create another table and store it and after that you will be monitoring and logging also you it's not after that basically you uh, while you are doing uh while you are doing your work make sure to use logging to log every step clearly with a clear message and the next part would be you expose the collected data using fast api which means which is uh, a lightweight uh, web framework so you install uh, fast api from by using tip and after that create uh, a folder structure like for example if you if your project name is named my project so you will have main.py database.py models.py so your database configuration will will be in database.py you data models would be and models.py so you create using your models using i mean your schema and models using identity so you should also to refer to that and your cred operations would be in the cred.py and your api endpoints would be in your main.py so in this way you actually have a loosely coupled uh, functions or um, packages in each in each in each uh, in each file so now you, if you have to change something you don't have to change the whole thing so in this way you can have a robust structure so this is it for the task and on the tutorial section you will have a telegram scraping given by yaya and dbt will be uh, delivered by Kerot and object detection using YOLO, YOLO will be given by Reddit and API development using Fast API will be handled by Kerot. And make sure to go through all the references, especially in the uh, scraping part, the DDT part, and the YOLO part. Make sure to go through all the examples and all, all the given references, especially also in the identity part and also in the fast api part make sure to go through them and understand the structure and everything so i hope uh, it is somehow clear now so if you have any question you can just type it in the chat and also raise your hand and, and ask Uh, okay, so uh, the web scraping part is actually uh, modified to it 
to a telegram scraping part so all the web scraping part are specific to telegram so you don't do web scraping for now you can use web scra web scraping tools like beautiful subscribe and selenium to scrape to scrap telegram data uh, also and also uh, you can still use telethon and also as i've mentioned you can also export the data from uh, telegram directly and for your first question uh, yeah i know uh, it's the the data is uh, extensive especially in the medical part so try to focus on the majority thing so for example in jmed you can you might find uh, the objects mostly are some like um, how can i put it uh, some pill so for example so some some pill that that can be like have some details or it might not have some details but i believe you can just ch check it out let me just uh, stop sh stop presenting and let me share the chain telegram page Okay, as you can see here, just give me a moment. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, this, this is like Mela one and does it from my scene. These are some information. So now you have the text and also now you have the image, so you can just match extract this so you can, you, you might just just get no as a text some burger and also as these are just strawberries and uh let me just check for example yeah you might uh find uh day and night to impact for daytime and also nighttime which is called a flu really so you can just uh detect this object and have like store it in in some structured way so we would we want you to understand how to store uh, an unstructured data in a structured way so it means you, you might find a different uh, output for these two images but we want you to extract uh understand it in a structured way so for example yeah you can see here you can find a woman here and uh, go find which is a painkiller you can find it with like some pills and yeah like now you have chambers data uh, here and the next would be to go through the next telegram channel and understand understand that too so now you, you might have uh, they might have a similar. So, for example, if I just stop sharing this one, so for example, for Layupena, mm, so now you can find, you can see uh, all the objects here. So, for example, for this one. This is before consumption, and you might like this is just I think by time B twelve D, and yeah, for this one it, this is for kids, so many troops immune plus, so you can uh, extract the text, even extract the object as uh, detect what the object is, and just try try it out. So try to find. Also, the similarities between the two channels. So they, they, they might not have that much similarities, but I think it's better to try and understand what those channels are. So most of it you will find you will find uh, some pills. So we want you to actually uh, understand how YOLO works, how to detect objects using YOLO. So that will help you for uh, upcoming projects. You will have 
uh, verification processes. Like for example, this is verification. You might not use object detection there, but you will have now you you know how to actually uh, uh, detect an image and also how to do image analysis and the next would be OCR part. So it will prepare you for that. Is that new matters? Uh, just try to uh, try to um, understand the contents the contents of the image plus the text. So as I've shown you in the uh, JMR part and also the Louisville part, there are two. Uh, there is a text and also there is an image. So you you will link those two uh, in some in some way. So for example. Uh, I don't think I can. Uh, okay, so if you are if you are on Telegram, you can just export it, export the whole data from the channel, and now you have the text part and also the image part. So the contents or the objects you detected from the image and the text are stored here, and you just have a data warehouse that have all these things available, available through an API. So just. After an API, you'll just keep this text have uh, have this image and also the image uh, the image of these, these, these objects as detected by you. That's how we want you to do it. If that is clear. Okay, uh, any question? So, Abdi Fata, is it clear? Yes, it's clear. Thank you. Okay, uh, so, Yodahi, uh, you can write in the chat if it's clear. And also for the same. Okay, how about Zion? Half tone. Okay, thank you, Yodahi. Thank you, Zion. Uh, Abigail. Okay, how about it? Uh, okay, uh, if you have any question, make sure to uh, drop it on Slack and we will. We will uh, Reach back and also any other things will also try to answer the question. Uh, thank you, guys. You can also uh, mention and DM me if you have any question. I'm just stop the recording now.